in competition. Did you put the calipers back on? It's a student design program. And then from there we'll support it. Where uh, students take, you know, basically a set of specifications. Just like you would do in the real world. It's about 20 degrees there. If you're going to build something, uh, you know, for the public, it would have to meet a certain set of codes and specifications. And theirs are no different. They're written that way so that you get some exposure to that. So you take their set of specifications. David have these settings on. And an overall concept. And then you're free to design, you know, a vehicle. I wanted to find something that, that would bring competitiveness to the EIT college, more specifically systems engineering and mechanical engineering technology. So I wanted something that, that maybe either had racing or something involved of that nature and I didn't know that anything like that existed. But SAE hosts the largest engineering competitions worldwide. These are, uh, they have the most schools involved, the most money invested, most engineering time. And so whenever I found out about this last year, I kind of prodded around and see if I could actually find some people that were interested. There was some interest, so we actually had a whole lot of interest at the beginning. But they weren't dedicated on their time. We didn't predict the amount of time that would be required to successfully complete it. We didn't do the design work ahead of time. We just kind of started putting things together. And we built a frame last year, and that was the end of it. And it failed miserably. This year, we kind of got it involved with senior design. Uh, it's a course which requires them to pull together all the knowledge they have acquired during their years of study at ULR. So they bring all these things together before they graduate and they implement it with a real life problem. So we were held to a grade. If they do not complete the job, then they cannot pass. We got some companies involved in sponsoring us. And the six of us are very dedicated, plus the other three that, that have joined us outside of senior design. We invested um, around 12,500 in the project. We also have over 1,000 hours invested in design and planning between six of us. That's all the seniors that, that went into the design. And then we have another hours, another 1,000 hours on top of that through fabrication and manufacturing, and that's between the nine of us that, that have put in that. We probably have another 250 to go between the next month between testing and uh, finishing up the vehicle. I was uh, really, <laughs> really, really happy, yeah. But, uh, because even just two weeks ago, which we initially asked students to test drive, and they planned to initially that way, but as the delivery problem and some assembly problem just delayed. <laughs> It was, it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it worked the first time they tried it. So that was a great thing. Mm. And then uh, they did, of course, minor adjustments, but it was really, really uh, a big moment when you see the car move as soon as they turned in the, the ignition. That was great. Right, it's the first time I've really had a chance to take it out and really push it. Well, we found out that the, the angle on the angle on our rear suspension wasn't very good, and so we're lowering the, the top mounting point on it. I'm going to take some pipes and directly take them from here to here and do the same on the front. That way we'll have it supported at the top and the bottom. I 
just snapped off my stop. Destroyed now. David clipped a, a stump and it pulled the wheel about, I don't know, three or four foot up. It was pretty high. Anyway, and our push rod part of the steering here became uh, disconnected due to high tensile load. It's good to see that our suspension was tracking like we wanted it and it's nice to see nothing's pinching up, nothing's going wrong in the car. Um, and we didn't break anything major. When we hit the stump, for example, and it, and it made the whole the whole tire and suspension bottom out. We weren't really expecting that to put as much stress on that one area as it did, so. Unexpected things happen, but that's why we were testing it basically to the fullest, the fullest ability we could to, because if we break something now, then we can easily fix it. But uh, if we break something at competition, we, we could be stopped. Well, it looks pretty rugged. That's going to be the test. The least you all have got to do, you must test. So where are we headed? The competition is going to be in Peoria, Illinois. Uh, we go through three days. First day is registration, presentation. He was checking the dimensions of the cockpit to make sure it met the minimum requirement for a driver. It went really good. There was only a few items that um, that we had to correct. Gas tank wobbled a little bit. Um, a few bolts needed to be uh, wire tied. Once I get that rechecked, we'll be through a tech inspection. Here to uh, representing the Trojan Racing Team from the University of Arkansas Low Rock. And we're here to present our concept vehicle, uh, the RT1 Baja vehicle, as a uh, you know, possible production vehicle for your company. Any innovation or technology that you use in designing the what is on the machine. Can you explain to us about the, uh, the powertrain? 